man. That voice right there, man, is a good friend of the show. From Full House to Fuller House. Yeah, that was a clip from Fuller House, uh, season five, the final season, I believe, right? Is that was season on? four. We haven't started season five. Well, season yet. five will be coming on later this year. It will be, and I think I'm full nude in it. Ooh. I'm not sure. Got to watch Holy that. Nude I'm, I'm wearing a cod piece. I'm wearing something. Uh-oh. I need an extension. Like a Roman leaf or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it'll be a Roman leaf. It'll be a banana leaf. A banana leaf? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Maybe I'll just wear a banana. Yeah. Uh, right? <laughs> are, are you comfortable being nude? Well, actually, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> First thing I ever did, I was nude. It was uh, some movie I did when I was like 21. And you were nude? I was. We were all nude in the shower, but they cut us above the waist, which was good. So uh, I'd already been cut below the waist when I was born. I'm Hello. Dying. Hello, he's here. Good morning. <laughs> Open Bob with Bob circumcision. Bob <laughs> he just arrived. I am in Sway's universe. Yes, you are. Uh, how you been, Bob? It's um. I'm good. Every time I see you, man, I just instantly smile. You're like a. That makes me so happy. Yeah, you're a good. You're a good time when I see you. Well, I, I want to make people happy. Because yeah. people are all, everything's all fucked up. The world is fucked up. It bro. is so fucked up, I don't get don't anything. Fuck. And it just seemed like it's in concentrated dosages. Not that it was all of a sudden, but it yeah. just seemed amp now. It seemed intense, like hype. What's the word I'm looking for? Amplified now. It is amplified, and it's stuff that's coming back that's like mm-hmm. screwed up. I like, mean, I, like, was well, watching, like, well, I was watching the news in, uh, last night, and it's like, and rightfully so when I see the body of work, but Kate Smith's God Bless America has been banned uh, from, from games. And, uh-huh. including, and then I read some of the other songs that she sang and that she supported, and I'm like, oh, all right, uh-huh. goodbye, Kate. Uh-huh. Uh, but it was written by Irving Berlin, so other people can sing it, but this taints it for a while. Yeah. And by yeah. taint, I mean the area between, you know. The, okay, the um, balls yeah. in the butthole. Okay. Yeah, cause, right. or it could be other things, too. I mean, you could have, you know. If you don't have balls, okay, yeah, true. It's a little taint. The, the little love because it taint that. It taint, it's like New Jersey. It taint <laughs> Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. and it taint New York. <laughs> Damn, that's Heather's from New Jersey, Bob. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just oh, came man. back. I just came back from Cherry Hill. I love it. <laughs> got got out of that well, didn't <laughs> yeah, I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does that work? I don't know, man. Uh, no, but I don't understand when I'm doing stand-up and I've been on a big tour. I'm working my butt off. I'm going to do it all year. I need to make people laugh and not have anything political, religious, racial, anything. And and I'm doing material that is a little bit racial because in 1961, I was five living in Norfolk, Virginia, mm-hmm. and, and there was segregated bathrooms. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I, I talk about it. You and, remember that? I remember it wow. vividly, and I didn't understand it. Uh-huh. It said men's whites, and it said men's coloreds on the thing. Did you ever walk into the men's colored? That's the th- only place I went. Really? And then I told my dad, if I keep going in there, will my wiener get bigger? Because I need it. <laughs> and, <laughs> wow. And then I just, and then I have five minutes of saying, I wish I was black. Oh, okay. yeah. And I still do. <laughs> yeah. well, okay. Well, shit. Well, okay. That did. What did your dad? How did he respond? <laughs> he was. He said, "My dad was uh, amazing. My dad was like, which bathroom did you use?'" And I said, "I used that one." He said, "We're not supposed to go in there." Uh-huh. And I said, "Why not?" And he. And he's, he started to tear up, and he said, I don't know, son. That's just the way the world is right now. But then you look look at the world right now, and I was I was performing uh, up, up north, and some guy yells in the theater, the South will rise again. And I said, sir, we're in Boston. <laughs> we're here moving the Mason-Dixon. What's uh-huh. wrong with you? Uh-huh. I just won't tolerate it. I you won't know. tolerate it. I, ha- I have to have people leave if they, if they try to bring in any kind of hate. It's interesting because I was reading this article about what, what's the uh, name Margo what, the, the golf course that uh, President Trump Mar-a-Lago. Mar-a-Lago, Mar-a-Lago. And, and one of his uh, reps referred to it as the Southern White House. Yes, right, right. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah. The Southern White House mm-hmm. and the Confederate had a their own version of a White House of the South. You know, where and, was that? I don't know, man. Down south. Oh, that would be that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I love but, down south. Yeah, and but, there's good people down south. But, uh-huh. but my God. But it's the, it's just all this cold that we're hearing. Uh, the dog whistling. The dog whistling that we're hearing that's making these references to that ideology of, you know, segregation and and all this racist undertone. And you don't you do you confront that in your stand up? Are you still no like no? But I but I do confront uh, anybody that doesn't treat another person with respect. Uh-huh. And um, and it's usually people that 
you would expect it to be. It's yeah. like unfortunate. Yeah. It's like, uh, but I, I just want to put everybody together and have love and have, and I don't talk political. I say the only thing political is that my penis curves to the left. Okay. That's oh. all. Wow. Dude. Well, that's so I can <laughs> sw <laughs> swim in a circle in the pool. <laughs> oh, man, don't. <laughs> it's like a rudder. You in love with your penis, Bob. I swear. <laughs> Some, someone's got to be. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm married since married I saw since you. Yeah. Five months I've been married. Oh. And Thank you. I love that it sounds like a thousand people applauding. Yeah, man. With a thousand people happy you got married. That's good. They, they're, they're very relieved. What does she like about you? Uh, my penis. And uh, <laughs> no, no, I think she likes. One of the things is that, I, well, we love each other. That okay. just kind of happened accidentally. But it was, uh, I think. She thinks I'm kind, so I've coerced her into believing that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, there's one born every day. Oh man, oh, a oh. sucker. Okay. But she is so um she's so great. And my kids love her and they're old now. They're a hundred and ninety two. They're so old. Yeah. I, got, I got them walkers for their birthday and okay. <laughs> You're younger than your kids, right? Yo, much, much younger. Okay. okay. You got kids? Uh, yeah, I have a twenty year old, beautiful, powerful, spirited child. Who uh, runs my life? Is it a, a girl? Yeah, people, yeah, I can yeah. feel that coming. You can say, yeah, right. My right. daughters run my life. Yeah, right. And, and I screw up, and then they call me on it, and then I go, damn it, they're right. And that's oh. when I go, oh, I got to straighten up. And my shrink's not; he's busy. I don't <laughs> know who to talk. To. What am I going <laughs> yeah. to do? I'm on the road. What, right. I gonna call right. him every day. Yeah, right. Uh, so they're all. I find that true too. Like I don't even argue with my daughter anymore. It's like she she got facts, research, the whole nine. And not only that, they know you. Yeah. And they go, you do because my biggest sin was uh, having. Full House in the video show when I was 30 having two top 10 shows and I was like a snarky little asshole you uh -huh. know I was like I don't know why I mean I was doing family stuff and I wanted to always have a, a bluer sense of humor not on purpose just because uh -huh. that's how I was weaved yeah my role models were Richard Pryor I did a movie with him and uh -huh. Rodney Dangerfield and people that I just looked up to and uh and I've, I've got kind of the same kind of life going now I've got some wonderful things going with comedians that I respect and that I love and I mean Dave Chappelle to me is like changing the world oh, Dave yeah. Chappelle's yeah, he's yeah. a philosopher so oh, and uh, and he's a friend he's doing me a solid uh, coming up uh, next week that I can't talk about as a surprise you just talked about it Oh, sh no longer shite. Surprise. coming up to what what the fuck am I gonna do now no but he's coming where <laughs> uh, nowhere no he's just doing he's doing he, he helps me um uh, I, I do a big charity thing because I lost oh, a sister okay. to scleroderma. Yes. So he's just very generous, uh -huh. and so he's just doing me a solid. Just you know, just being generous. Yes. Yeah. You 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 gave um, Regina Hall Regina Hall some insight about that because she had a family member. Her mom. Yeah. Her mom and her mom's doing better now. Yeah. And we were on a plane, and I hooked her up with this Dr. Wigley at uh, uh, Johns Hopkins, and he's they're curing people now. Mm -hmm. We raised forty eight million dollars. Uh, in the past, uh, wow. I like when people applaud money. Um, <laughs> in, in the past thirty years, and, uh -huh. my, and and it's saving people's lives. And it's a huge uh, uh, African uh, descent component. It's like thirty percent, thirty five percent, and then mostly all of the people that get it are women in their childbearing years. Uh -huh. So when I was talking about Dave doing me a solid, it was a financial thing. It was just like he just has a big heart. Okay, we and, could do. We could donate, man. You know. I love when you donate. Okay, yeah, but well, but that's not what this is about. This okay. is about selling a movie. Okay, this Benjamin, is about don't donating. Okay, <laughs> by the, giving by, back, giving back by making sure you buy tickets to the movie. Um, you got the film Benjamin, which is available tomorrow. You can rent it at Red Box Kiosk. I didn't even oh, know they. Wow, I didn't sweet. even know they still had now, those. Now people say I that they actually lift off the ground now. They, do they really? Yeah, they do. They <laughs> levitate. Okay. It's like a Bill and Ted adventure. <laughs> what happened is this, though. I, this is the first. This is the, I made a movie. And, what was that, a chicken? No, that was Tracy G. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was looking the other way, but it sounded good. It sounded like natural. Was <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm hearing voiceovers. <laughs> You're good. I was uh, <laughs> that's, 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 that's the moment. That's my that's my morning moment. That's gonna. I'm gonna be mentioning that somehow. Um, well, this is a movie about a common problem, which is uh, people that aren't equipped with a kid that they think is hooked on drugs. Mm -hmm. So this is about 
I think my son, I directed it, and it's got an amazing ensemble cast. Uh, Max Burkholder plays my son, and we think he's on Crystal Meth. And he was on Parenthood. He was the kid with autism. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's got funny people. Rob Corddry is the family gynecologist who leads the intervention. And um, that's not who you get to lead your intervention. Okay. And, <laughs> and Mary Lynn Rice Cub, who's been in a lot of movies, a bunch of Kevin Hart movies lately, and she... Uh, she is my girlfriend who calls the intervention on Facebook, and that's not how people, that's not how you get an intervention. Yeah. You don't do, call it on there. Uh-huh. And it's got Kevin Pollack and uh, Sherry O'Terry and a lot of a lot of funny, really uh, established people. And they, they worked really hard. Independent movies, you know. It's, it's like you're working tooth and nail yeah. on no budget. And so Redbox, it, this is their very first original streaming movie. So this is how Netflix started and Amazon started. I mean, Amazon was... My last special, you could buy, you know, with two clicks, you could buy the special and the lotion to watch it with. You oh, know? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never said that before. That's awesome, man. That's That's, that's awesome. I still like the chicken better, but uh, <laughs> with that, I love chickens. Uh, but, you know, but whenever you tell dick jokes, you look me right in my eye, and I'm like, "What is that for?" Man? That's because I know that's like a that's like a pitcher knows he's gonna hit. Yeah, right. Like it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey Bob, um, th- this movie Benjamin revolves around you know this intervention, but it also uh, it reveals things about the people who are trying to tell this kid about his problem uh, that they have problems of their own. Exactly. And that's s- that's the one liner on it. Is you know uh, you know uh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> the, fir- the first step. The first step is admitting that everyone else has a problem. That's yeah. what it is. And, and I feel like a lot of that also is kind of a mirror of what our society has really become with social media. You know, people love to attack somebody when they do something, but yeah. then if their own personal problems or demons were to come to the service, then they would feel how they feel about talking, you know, ne- negatively about They other wouldn't people. even know what to do because they wouldn't see it coming. And they're as guilty as anybody else of a bunch of stuff. And a lot of good light has been shown on a lot of things that have been wrong for a long time. So as we step, as we all fall back, which we are, uh, we're also calling out everything that's been happening. It's like, but did you realize 50 years ago, this guy or this lady said this or, and then sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes it's all media driven and it's all, Hmm. and I was in some dumb thing where I was media misquoted. It was like, Oh, he took a tweet down. That meant this. What the hell? Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. took a tweet down because mm-hmm. it wasn't funny. Yeah. And it didn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm going, yeah. why did my wife said to me, why'd you post that? I went, I don't know. She, I would have told you they would have thought it was this, but it's that. Uh-huh. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm yep. just trying to make people laugh at one in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't yeah. be tweeting at one in the morning. Yeah, but they could take a word and make it into a headline and create a business around yeah. a misquote, and you have nothing to do with it. And then it and runs. they misquote you. They, they misquote you on purpose just to yeah. they get that uh they get the traction, the they get the, the metrics, they get the analytics, and it's paid for. They don't ever do the retraction, though. No. no. Know, they'll right. never apologize And for the it. magazines that weren't rags yeah. have become rags. They have all become rags because it's that competitive, and they're all aiming for low-hanging f- uh, fruit. And I know exactly what was the tweet you're talking about. We don't have to even bring it up. Yeah. You know, uh, but that was unfortunate. And I got low-hanging fruit. Because as you, <laughs> as you get, as stop, you get stop, older, stop looking in my eyes, Bob. Don't, no, I, 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 don't, you start getting it. No, that was coming. I wasn't giving you that look. That okay. was that was just, But it's good to have a couple figs and yes. Oh, oh. My, my dad used to have a joke. It was so stupid. He would say, "You got any dates?" I said, uh, "No." He said, "You got any nuts?" I said, "No." He said, "That's why you don't have dates." Oh, that was the joke. Oh, it's the stupidest oh, like joke, but he was funny. Yeah, that was a, like I didn't look in. Tell you that. I didn't, my dad told me. I didn't look you in the eye on that one. Nah, nah, man. But I was also they did I, I, some reputable newspaper uh, interviewed me, and the quote was from my stand up, and it's not what I said. Uh-huh. It's not how I could possibly. You know when you know. No, there's no way I say it that way. I don't. Talk, I wouldn't say that. That wouldn't mm-hmm. cue that thought, and uh, it just uh, was misquoted. And but, but it had enough good stuff in it because my answers were solid. So uh-huh. they quoted my answers honest. As long as you do the answers honest, you're okay. You gotta. You got. I, I always tell 
I know people got to get out there and promote and market, but I, I think people got to be more selective of the platforms that they go to. Go 100%. To the, you know, man, go to the ones you trust, the ones you got real relationships with, and then you'll get the real information out there. Well, you know, people, not everybody is on that scavenger shit. And you're mm-hmm. on a, you, you get hazed by the, by the PAPs out there mm-hmm, and the mm-hmm. GMZ and all that crap? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I, I like uh, a lot of the folks over at TMZ. Uh, well, I I, I recognize a lot of them, yeah. and, and they're always happy when I'm polite to them. Yeah. And yeah. my last one was just like, I'm sorry, I don't do talking interviews. I got to sit down. Okay. You know, uh-huh. so it's yeah. like but they're standing. I'm walking to my car. What did they like, ask you? What did they ask you? Oh, just all that crap that's been coming out that oh. I have nothing to do with. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, You're not commenting on any of that scandal. I'm a no comment, and uh, you love who you, I love somebody, and that's and it's fucked up. Yeah. The world's fucked up, uh-huh. and and people are entitled to opinions, but people are, I don't know. I don't know. I just I, I know people's character and I know who I love. If you love somebody for 30, 40 years, you don't just stop loving them. Yeah. You're going to do what mm. you can to for that love. Hey Bob, do you do you smoke the Bob Saget strand of weed? There are a few of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There are there is a sativa that's supposed to be amazing. Yeah, have you tried it? I, no, because I I mean there's a little vape pen now and then that uh-huh. might find its way to my mouth. Okay. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like to play the I like to play the piccolo on it, you know? Okay. <laughs> but but I I don't um and I, I like a cigar. I I'm, okay. I'm just that old now. Okay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Do people still smoke pipes like not crack but like the old they man pipe do like, but that is an old man it's usually. an old y'all don't yeah. see pipes like ever no yeah. you'd see it for pot or, or yeah for, just for used yeah. to be for hash but that was like you know okay so that was a long time ago hash, man. i thought hash was pot no uh no, no. Oh. hash is a solid thickened resin of pot that's clean that's usually was was clean uh-huh but I had to figure it. I was in hotel rooms at 22, figuring out how to smoke that. Yeah, yeah. That I sounds stuck sounds a pin in it, and I had to put a cup on it, and then it's you have to fill, light it, and then you got to get oh, your mouth under the, yeah. up to the table, and that's gross because mm-hmm. where's the table been? Right. Yeah. Especially it's in messy. A hotel. Especially in a hotel. Sounds more complicated yeah. than crack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 crack's yeah. so easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I uh, used to do something for that in a movie. Dave Chappelle movie, but yeah. I can't, I can't when, say that. At quote. the uh, rehab. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, the videos after dark, uh, would they be like uh, America's funniest home videos, but in the bizarro world? Or it like is it, it, it is a little bit, you know, we've had great people do it. We've had uh-huh. Daniel Tosh, Rob uh-huh. Deerdick, a lot of people have done this for him, but nobody did the voices like I did the first eight years. So okay. I'm still doing them again now. Okay. It's like, look out. Oh, my dick. You know, it was okay. like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> look at me in my eye, dude. But they <laughs> they let me say it. They're like, they, I got a phone call. Vin DeBono, the guy that started the video show 30 mm-hmm. years ago, mm-hmm. said, okay, here's the deal. You, We want you to talk like your stand-up. Uh, we'll bleep you if you say anything too weird. We can plan it a little bit if you want. Uh, little kids are going to be cursing. Uh, and that we're going to show naked people, but we'll blur their parts. Mm-hmm. And I said, uh, where do I sign? You know, it was like, <laughs> but because at 10 o'clock at night on ABC, mm-hmm. Disney, uh-huh. you know the mouse. Yeah. Uh, if if they're gonna run this and they're gonna put some energy behind it, and we're still editing the shows, we just had one sneak preview after the Bachelor when he screwed the pooch. You know when he uh-huh. told us the story that he already had been with the girl or something. You wouldn't know because you don't watch the Bachelor. The Bachelor. Yeah. Did you oh know? no, man. No, I never. <laughs> I never saw the Bachelor. Did you? What did you? Uh, no, I hung out with him because yeah. I was promoting the show. Uh huh. But who watches The Bachelor? Anybody watch yeah, The Bachelor? Yeah, show of hands. Rich Nice. Rich Nice? Rich oh, nice? yeah. You watch The Bachelor, Rich? And and what is the reason? Do you have some significant other that you watch it with? No, I just know a whole group of girls that watch it, and they invite me to come out, so I kind of hang out with a group of girls. Oh, well, that, that's, that's, not, that's, that's not watching that, The Bachelor. That's not true. Uh, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> Before this whole concept went went mainstream, he had the urban version of it going in. Millennium Bachelor. Yeah. What was your name, Rich? What's your nickname? The Millennium Bachelor. Yeah. 
So he's been on that shit since Early. 2002, you know. So. Like when the Millennium Hell? came in, that's 2000. Yeah. I was the Millennium, Millennium Bachelor, Bachelor for 2000 when it came in. Yeah. yeah. You should go on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I would yeah. vote for you. Would you? <laughs> oh, wait, you're the Bachelor. Everybody votes for you. Yeah, okay. Uh, Bob Saget is here, man. We got Ivan on the line from St. Louis. What up, Ivan? Ivan. <laughs> What's up, guys? Ivan, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, hanging in there, man. Just working, you know, enjoying, enjoying uh, your show t- this morning, you know? Thank you, man. You got a question yeah. for Bob, though? <laughs> yeah, Bob, what's going on? Uh, I, I miss you being more on, on, on a lot of the, the shows in today's era, man. You always used to have me laughing with, with, Joe, with, with Joey and all them, you know? Yeah, well, uh, Fuller House is still on. And uh, I'll be on that, and that we start shooting that like in a month, so that'll be on Netflix. They're doing it, eighteen of them. That's a lot uh-huh. these days. Uh, if you're doing eighteen and it's legal in that state, you're okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, and I'm doing this videos after dark, so that'll be on ABC at ten o'clock, either in the summer or the fall. They're figuring out when we're done with. We have to finish making them because we we shot it all, but we we're editing and stuff. So you'll see me on. Uh, the, those two TV shows and then uh, I'm working on another special and then I got this movie Benjamin where I'm like Danny Tanner off the rails so you might like that because I don't remind you of of me what would have happened if it had not gone well <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate that I appreciate that uh, those props thank you Ivan you're a citizen man Sweet morning. Ryan is in Indiana good morning Ryan good morning happy Monday family hey, to you fam you. say what up to Bob Yo, how's the, hur- I, I wanna, how's the I hurricane know. in the helicopter going <laughs> <laughs> yeah I want to know if um, you're a basketball fan in real life because I know back in the day Danny Tanner used to support and ride for the Warriors heart he did he did I, I, I have a problem you know I love New York and uh so it's hard not for me to love them. Uh, I love, I don't know, I love I love basketball. I, lo- I, lo- I love the Lakers because I live there, but it's it's so, it's not like New York. I mean, L.A., they show up late and they leave early, and that's all bullshit. You got okay. <laughs> to pay respect. You got to pay respect. Us Warriors fans, we show up before the game starts, and we party after the game ends because we usually win. Yeah, because you took mushrooms before it started, Water. and then well, you're just smoking it down to calm one down at yeah. the end. Hey, a win is a win. <laughs> a win is a win. <laughs> all right. Uh, hey, thanks for your call, Ryan. Mushrooms. No problem. Uh, Emmanuel in Arkansas. Hey, how you doing? I just first of all, I want to say, go Celtics. Um, how you doing, Bob? I'm, hey, I'm hey, good to talk man. to. You. Um, I, I just wanted to know what, exactly what is your purpose for uh, this this movie that's coming up about your son? Um, you know, what is Benjamin. it you're trying to uh, get across? Well, it's it's pretty simple. It's a public service announcement of communicating <laughs> with your kids and communicating with each other, and not just being fools and think you know what you're doing because you saw a TV show about intervention so it's really about you know really being there for your kids and and there were things that happened with my three daughters and and i've known a lot of people i'm sure everybody here has and i'm sure you might know some people that whose kids have not uh come out well or not survived this kind of stuff or adults Mm -hmm. that have gone through this and we all know somebody and so i wanted to put it out there in a way that wasn't too preachy and i had such a good cast that knew how to play that line between being absurd and being very real and so that kind of brings it all together in a way of and also owning your shit admitting Mm -hmm. uh what your part is in all this and i think what i've learned from having three daughters is uh, who are now 32, 29, and 26, which is also my locker combination, if you're interested. But, <laughs> yeah. but they, but they, but they uh, proved to me that I'm a good dad because they've been through stuff, and I've been through more. <laughs> I've, been, <laughs> I've been the dad they had to go, uh, you got to stop this behavior. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so it's really about uh, communications and, and and about love, and, uh, and that's what everything you try to do is good. It, it, that's good it is about so that's where that's what i'm aiming for but i'm aiming pretty high but but i i'm very proud of it though hey man make sure you check it out benjamin is available tomorrow you can rent it at red box kiosk or you can rent rent or purchase it at red box on demand red box on demand and and you get the red box app 
Yeah. And red box sounds like it could be a dirty word, and it's not. But it's an interesting name, though. I like it. It is. You look at me in my eyes. You about to tell one? No, I was about to. I just thought red box was a good word. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, give it up for Bob Saget, y'all. Thank you, everybody. I love love you, you, man. Love you, bro. Um, Also, we want to thank Lil Dicky for coming by today. Lil Dicky. All right. Our our friends, George and Stephanie over there, we want to thank you guys for coming by. Once again, Stephanie, uh, Talk to, tell us the name of your organization. If people want to find out more about it, they could go where? Um, <clears throat> you can actually go on our website, lifeafterlossandre.org. Um, also, the email address is graden66 at hotmail.com. Spell graden for us. G-R-A-Y-D-O-N. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Yes, I know y'all got some for T-shirts for us, us too, right? Okay, cool. All right. DJ Wonder, how can they reach you? Everywhere at DJ Wonder. OQ Shoots on Instagram. Instagram for me. Oh, my bad, Mike. No, go ahead, Tracy. It's Tracy G. I.